Thank you so much for being here. I am a little nervous, but mostly excited um, to share this with you. And it is, I was thinking of it when I was planning it, that I really wanted to share this with you guys and I really wanted to offer it as um, just a gift and to say how grateful I am. And hopefully you will feel it and you will feel your own, own gratefulness come through. So please settle in a comfortable seat uh, in an easy pose if you would like. Sit on something like on a block or on a blanket to elevate your hips so your knees are lower than your hips and it's comfortable for you. Keep your back straight. Hi, welcome. So just settling in in a comfortable meditative posture. Take a deep, slow breath in and let it go. Take another deep, slow breath in and let it go. Just watch your breath and follow its rhythm. Gently close your eyes and tune in with yourself and your body. How are you feeling? How are you feeling emotionally? And just watch as your belly expands on an inhale and contracts on an exhale. Easy breath. And your belly is soft. Now please place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly and just feel that connection with your body. And we will do a two part breath. You will inhale in two parts and then an easy exhale. And the first part is you're taking in air and filling in your belly and your chest. Then you suspend for a second and inhale even more into your chest and into your throat. And then one long exhale. So inhale with me into the stomach and the chest Inhale more, exhale, let it go. Inhale, the air fills the belly and the chest. Inhale more air into fill the chest and the throat and exhale, let it all go. So there is a little pause uh, in between the two inhales. Breathing in, feeling in your belly, feeling it expand. Your chest expands, your throat expands, and let it all out. Take a deep breath in. and know that you are safe. Take another deep breath in. And know you are where you need to be in this moment. And ask yourself a question. Who am I? at my best. Who am I in truth? Who am I as a 
is my best expression? How do I show up as the best version of myself? And now ask yourself, what am I truly grateful for? And bring to mind people, places, and circumstances that you are truly grateful for. And with each one, pause and really feel how grateful you are for that person, that thing, or that circumstance in your life. Take your time. Focus how it feels to be grateful. Where do you feel it in your body? Focus just on the feeling now. And offer this feeling to the Mother Earth. and she would give it back to you. I would like to offer you to work with the ancient Sanskrit mantra, Om Moksha Ritam. Om Moksha Ritam. Om is the universal vibration. It is the anahata, the unstuck sound, the sound of the universe, the sound of our heart. Moksha is liberation, emotional freedom. And ritam is the rhythm of the universe. So when we repeat this mantra, we align our hearts with the heart of the universe. Om Moksha Ritam. Om Moksha Ritam. Say it with me out loud. Om Moksha Ritam. Om Moksha Ritam. And now whisper it. Om Moksha Ritam. Om Moksha Ritam. And now say it silently to yourself. And if you drift away, just come back to the mantra. It may change its expression. It may go faster or slower. But if you notice you're not repeating the mantra, just come back to it. So the vibration of the universe 
the rhythm of the universe and the rhythm of your heart. When those two vibrations merge, the universe will pull your vibration and align it with its own because it's stronger and it always wins. Keep repeating silently the mantra. You can place your palm on your heart and feel your own rhythm. What is your rhythm? How do you like to move? How do you like to move through life? Om Moksha Ritam. And let's seal this meditation with the hymn of the universe, the single Om. Take an inhale. And may we move in rhythm with the universe today and every day. Please open your eyes, stay seated, and let's just do some neck crawls and some stretches, whatever it feels good to you. Start rolling your neck if you'd like in one direction, going all the way back slowly and all the way forward slowly. You can inhale as your head goes up and exhale as it goes down. On your next exhale, reverse the direction. Breathe deeply into your belly. And come to center. Now let's place the left hand on the ground. Inhale and our right arm goes up and over to the left. Exhale. You can gaze down, easy breath. Inhale and switch. Right hand on the ground, left arm over and up. Feel the stretch on the left side. And come to an easy pose if you aren't already there. And we're going to do a simple twist. So bring your left arm on your right knee. Inhale and straighten your back. Place your right hand behind you. Exhale, twist. Look over the right. You can inhale and come out a little bit to straighten your back and then exhale and come back in.
Inhale, center. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the left, look over the left shoulder. Make sure you're not overstretching your neck here, no pain anywhere. Inhale and come back. And we're going to do one more pranayama exercise, which is one of my favorite ones. It's Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. And I will give you a lot of options for it, as I know it can be tricky. So with your bring, you can choose to close your nostrils with your hand. You can choose to just imagine breathing into one nostril and breathing out through another nostril. It's up to you. I'm going to use my hand. So I'm going to bring the pinky and the ring finger inside my palm so that only my, uh, the forefinger and the middle finger stretching up and the thumb is stretching up. I'm going to bring the two fingers, the middle and the forefinger to my third eye and then close the right nostril with my thumb. And when it is time to close the left nostril, you'll just kind of untuck the pinky and help yourself. And if this configuration is too challenging, you can just take two fingers and manually close one and then close the other. So let's inhale. Close the right nostril, exhale left. Inhale through the left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right, close the right, exhale left. Inhale through the left, close the left, exhale right. Inhale through the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, exhale through the right. And continue on your own for a couple more moments. And this pranayama has so many wonderful benefits. It balances us, it balances the left and the right hemisphere of the brain. Um, it balances the masculine and the feminine energies within us. And even after a short time, I feel more balanced, centered, grounded, and calm. That's why I love it so much. And next time you exhale through the right nostril, bring your right hand down if it isn't there already. And just breathe normally and observe how your body feels, how your mind feels. Now let's come in into all fours. Your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Check the alignment. Your spine is neutral. You can tuck your toes or untuck them, up to you. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, round, round your back. Look towards your belly button. Inhale, push into your hands. Feel the earth beneath you, look up and exhale down. Inhale, stretch up, look up and exhale, release, let it go. Inhale up and exhale. Now 
Next time you inhale, bring your hips towards your um, heels. And then when you inhale, round and come back to all fours. Inhale, arch, sit back, exhale, round, come back to all fours. Inhale, sit back, and arch. So introducing a flow in motion. Warming up your spine. Go as fast or as slow as you'd like. Move to your own rhythm. And then just sit back in child's pose for me, please. Stretch your hands in front of you. Sit your hips on your heels and bring your forehead to the floor. You can flip your palms if you'd like. And here in the child's pose, I would like you to introduce some warming ujjayi breath. So we're going to Contract the back of the throat as if you're trying to whisper loudly or <laughs> as if you're trying to fog a mirror. So you're making that sound like the ocean wave sound and feel it roll through your body and make it loud. Feel the heat starting to form in your belly. As we are warming our body for the flowing sequence. Now come back to all fours and push your hips back into your first downward facing dog pose. Your hands are shoulder widths apart your feet are hip width distance apart. Push your hips up towards the ceiling and feel your back lengthen. Spread the weight evenly between all fingers and your palm. Push on the earth and feel the earth push backs, pushes back. <laughs> Bend your knees generously here. Breathe, relax your face. Let the crown of your head hang heavy. Inhale here, exhale, look towards your hands and start walking. Your feet in between your hands, forward fold. Bend your knees, release, relax. And slowly, slowly, let's come into mountain pose. Roll your shoulders, feel the ground beneath you. Inhale, raise your arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, release your neck. 
Inhale, lift your chest, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold, release. One more time. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your right leg behind you, your right knee to the ground. Uh, square your hips towards the front and make your inner thighs active. Feel them push toward each other to give you more stability. Inhale, arms up. Anjaniyasana, low lunge. Exhale, arms towards your chest in Anjali Mudra. Soften your gaze, your tailbone points down. Keep pushing your inner thighs toward each other for stability. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Your front knee is over <laughs> Exhale, frame your front foot and step it back into down dog. and bring your right foot forward now. Place your left knee on the ground. Square your hips towards the front. Find the stability in your legs. Inhale, lift your arms up. Anjaniyasana, exhale. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Relax your eyes and your facial muscles. Find that rhythm again. Om, Moksha, Ritam. Exhale, plant your hands. Down dog. So distribute the weight of the hands evenly between your hands and your fingers and your palm. Your middle finger points straight forward. Release the crown of your head, your ears in between your biceps. Roll your shoulders outwards, away from your ears. Bend your knees if you need to straighten your back. Inhale here. Exhale, look towards your hands and start stepping forward. In between your hands, forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly coming up all the way up into mountain pose, Tadasana. Breathe here. Inhale, raise your arms up, look up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, swan dive, forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step into plank pose. Your palms are under your shoulders, your hips, uh, shoulders, and your neck is all in one line. Look slightly in front of you, engage your core. Take an inhale. On an exhale, lower your knees, bend your chest and chin towards the floor. Slide uh, your feet back. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale again and cobra. Lift up. Do not compress your lower back. The tops of the feet are on the earth. Push your hands on the floor and lift yourself up and feel your heart open. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Your hands are shoulder widths apart. Sometimes it's closer than you think. I know I always spread them way too wide. Inhale, shift your weight onto the left hand and raise your right leg up. Exhale, 
Bring it in between your hands. High lunge, stay here. Engage your inner thighs, push them toward each other. And inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring your hands together towards your chest. Your front knee is directly over your ankle and your hamstring shines right back. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your torso and then twist and hook your left elbow over the right knee. Look over the right shoulder, twist. Your hips are square towards the front. Legs are strong and stable. Exhale, release. Frame your foot. Step it back into three-legged downward facing dog. And place it on the ground. Shift your weight onto your right foot a little bit. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring it in between your hands. High lunge, stay here. Option to lower the knee, always. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring your hands towards your chest. Soften your gaze. Come back to your rhythm. Inhale here, exhale, lower your torso, and now hook the right elbow over the left knee and look over your left shoulder. Your legs are strong. Your hips are squared towards the front. Exhale, frame your front foot. Step into plank. Lower your knees. Exhale, your chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Let it all go. Exhale, look towards your hands and step towards your hands. All the way to the front of the mat, forward fold, bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, mountain pose, Tadasana. And exhale, hands towards your heart. Feel the stability of the earth how it holds you and carries you forward. Om, Moksha, Ritam. Inhale, lift your arms up, look up. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Bend your knees, release your neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale on the knees or off the knees. Lower yourself all the way to the ground, chest, chin. Now slide your hands closer to the ribs, past the shoulders. And we're going to inhale, push ourselves up into upward facing dog pose. If you can, keep your hands and the tops of your feet only on the ground and let the rest of the body sway if that is accessible to you. Inhale here, exhale, you can roll over 
your toes and come into downward facing dog again. Find your breath, find your posture, find stillness here. Inhale, lift your right leg up and exhale, bring it in between your hands, your knees over your ankle, your back leg, flip it and your uh, back foot is it. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot all the things. <laughs> and now place your heel on the ground. We're going into warrior two. So the back leg is at 75 degree angle. Your front foot is 90 degree angle. And square your hips as much as you can towards the side of the mat, the long side of the mat. Look over your fingertips. The back is straight. Tailbone points down. Breathe. Inhale, straighten your front leg and reach your right arm up, reverse warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two, bend your front leg. Inhale, straighten, reverse. Exhale, bend, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. And now let's stay in warrior two and clasp our hands behind, behind us. Interlace your fingers, feel your chest open. Take an inhale and as we exhale, we're going to say Om Namaha Shivaya. <laughs> so inhale with me, exhale, hinge forward, Om Namaha Shivaya. Let everything go. Let your head hang, your legs are strong. Inhale, come up, frame the front foot, step into plank pose. Inhale here, exhale on the knees or off the knees, chest chin. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, place it in between your hands. Lower your back heel to the ground and come up into warrior two. The front knee is bent at 90 degrees and straight over your ankle. The back leg is at 75 degree angle. Square your hips to the long side of the mat and look over your front fingertips. Breathe. Inhale now, straighten your front leg. Reverse warrior, exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Find your rhythm here. One more. And now let's do another humble warrior. Interlace your fingers behind you. Gymnast. Open your chest. Inhale. And exhale, we go down. Om Namaha Shivaya. And come back. Warrior two. And let's frame our front foot. Step back into down dog. Take three cleansing breaths here. And 
and let's lower our knees on the ground and sit back into child's pose again. Option to bend your elbows and bring your palms onto your the back of the neck, if you'd like. And gives the biceps a nice stretch. And in this child's pose, let's uh, utilize the cooling qualities of a jaya breath. So we're going to do the same ocean sound breathing, but this time focus on calming everything down, bringing everything to its natural rhythm. And the child's pose provides the perfect amphitheater for the sound. Now from here, let's push our hips up into down dog again, into a quick one. Inhale here, exhale, look towards your hands and step your feet in between forward fold. Slowly, let's come up into mountain pose Tadasana. And here I would like to show you some of the Egyptian Qigong exercises. We're going to do two of them. And one is called a uh, heart pulsar. And I'm gonna show you the stances. Your left foot is forward and your right foot is slightly back. They're not too far apart from each other. Find, find it so it's comfortable and you feel grounded, however your um, body works. So the idea is just the left foot is in front and the feet are hip width distance apart. So that's gonna be the stance. You're gonna stay in it for the two Qigong exercises. We're not moving our legs. And please bring your hands into light fists and cross them over your heart. We're going to stay here and we're going to say the mantra yam three times. Yam, yam, yam. We're going to open our Yum, yum. Close the fists. Yum, yum, yum. Open your palms. Yum, yum, yum. Close the fists and continue silently reciting yum. three times and then switch your hand position and chant it again three times. I'm going to come closer, I'm not sure if, yeah. So first it's the fists and then it's the palms. And this, uh, the changing of the hand posture creates the healing pulsation straight into our heart. Mm -hmm. 
and bring your hands down by your sides. Keep your left foot in front. And the next posture is called salute to the sun, which is just going to open our arms at our head level towards the sides. Feel the heart shine and feel all the blessings pouring down into our hands, into our bodies. All the healing, all the guidance. Just enjoy it. Breathe easy. Inhale, look towards your hands and step lightly with your feet. And then just lower yourself, sit down on your bum. And we are going to slowly, slowly come to the ground. Tap your chin in. all the way to the ground. Now here, I would like you to bend your knees and place your feet flat on the ground. If you have a block, we're going to do a supported bridge pose or just a regular bridge pose, uh, whichever one you'd like. So your palms are flat on the ground, your feet are flat on the ground. Exhale. Inhale, push your hands into the ground and start lifting your hips up towards the sky and feel your chest open. If you're using the block, slide the block underneath your hips, your lower back, and just rest. Lower your hips on the block and rest here. If you're not using the block, actively use your hands and then maybe you clasp your hands and bring your shoulders in towards you even more to get a deeper stretch. If your knees are bothering you, maybe try sliding your heels further away from you to give it more space and to stretch your hamstrings even more. Make sure you do not uh, overly tuck your chin in as it can be straining for the neck. So slightly bring it towards this guy. Exhale, lower down to the ground. All the way down. Keep your feet flat on the ground and lift them slightly and shift the weight uh, to the right. Shift your hips to the right. And then as you exhale, bring your knees to the left and look towards the right. If that's too much in the neck, look straight up. Spinal twist.
Inhale, bring your knees back. Place your feet flat. And now shift your hips slightly, maybe an inch towards the left. And exhale and bring your knees to the right, look towards the left, spinal twist. Feel the release in your lower back. Bring your knees to the center. And settle yourself in Shavasana. Grab whatever you need. Make yourself comfortable. Feather your nest. And just breathe and observe the sensations of the body. How your mind feels after the practice that you just did. How does your body feel? Just observe. Do not judge. And ask yourself again, who am I in truth? How do I serve in truth? How can I speak from the heart? Who am I in truth? And affirm to yourself, I know who I am in truth. I know how I serve in truth. I speak from the heart. Bring to mind again three things you're grateful for. Maybe it's a thing, maybe it's a person or a circumstance, but just bring that gratefulness back into your heart. And ask yourself, what does my heart truly long for? What does my heart truly long for? Gently make small movements with your fingertips and your toes. Stretch your body. Get back into your body.
roll over to one side if you'd wish and hang there for a little bit in an embryo pose. And then gently with your eyes closed, push yourself up into a seated position. And let's seal this practice with one ohm, the sound of the heart. Bring your hands in front of your chest, take an inhale. Thank you. I am truly grateful that we are here together right now. May our hearts beat in rhythm with the universe. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much. I forgot everything I wanted to say. <laughs>